did you know that the average tampon user will go through nine to 10 thousand tampons over the course of their 35 to 40 years of having periods. This equates to 300 pounds of period related waste in your lifetime or 200,000 tons of period related waste around the world every single year. Sounds like it's time we talk about earth friendlier options for period products. Welcome back, I'm Mom and Dr. Jones, a board certified OBGYN and mom to four, and today we're discussing alternative period products that I recommend as a gynecologist and one you should never use no matter what. I think every person should be empowered to use whatever kind of period product they feel is best for them. Although many of the products we talk about in today's video are reusable, they often cost a little bit more to get started and they may not be accessible or right for everyone. That being said, many people feel compelled to make a change or simply prefer reusable products and empowerment cannot happen without education. Every product in this video is not meant to be a super earth friendly option. I really just wanted to show you some alternative products, including the ones that are a little bit more environmentally friendly. The first product we're going to talk about is biodegradable tampons. I wanted to talk about these because I think some people don't even realize that they exist. These tampons are really no different than any other tampon you've probably used. The only difference is they don't contain the plastic applicator, which of course is a little bit more earth friendly. They come in the typical packaging and instead of the plastic applicator, they have a cardboard applicator. The tampon itself, basically the same as any other one that you've ever seen put it in and take it out exactly the same way. Obviously, this is not going to be the most eco-friendly option on this list. It's simply another option that some people may not even know exists. The next one on our list is going to be a completely applicator-free tampon. These are just like any other tampon that you might use. They simply don't come with an applicator and they're way more common in places other than the United States. I have no idea why none of us here are taught to use these. I can only imagine that it may be because we're never taught to be comfortable with our own bodies or to learn about our own anatomy. And they do take a little bit more understanding and a little bit more comfort in that area, but they're very easy to use and they're actually way cheaper than applicator tampons. See how small this box is? They're much more compact than a typical tampon because they don't contain the applicators. There's actually 16 tampons in this box, which is really, really convenient if you're needing to take them with you somewhere. So they come wrapped like this, and there is just a little bit of plastic around the outside. To open them, you simply grab the top and bottom alongside that colorful line, and you twist. That removes the plastic and you're left just with a typical tampon. Like a normal tampon, they have a string. You can't see it because it's held up on the inside, but you just pull it out and you have a normal applicator-free tampon. To put it in, remember to wash your hands before and after. Use a finger, put the tampon right at the entrance of the vagina, press it inside until it's all the way in and you're good to go. It genuinely is that easy. Try them out. You might find that they're super convenient because they're small and cheaper than a normal tampon. Editing MDJ here. I realized while I was editing this that I forgot to film the part about reusable tampon applicators, which I don't actually own one of, but I'm gonna throw it up on the screen. These are really great too if you don't wanna use a plastic or cardboard applicator. They're washable and reusable, an option if you're interested. After this product, we're going to get into the actual reusable products, but for this one, I wanted to show you a menstrual disc. These are disposable menstrual discs and they're made by Soft Cup or Soft Disc. They are a little bit more eco-friendly in my opinion because they last longer than a typical tampon. That being said, they're also made completely of plastic and so I'll let you decide where that ranks on your scale. They come in packaging like this. And the disc itself looks like this. They're actually very easy to put in. You just fold it like this, put it right at the entrance to the vagina, push it in. Once it's inside, it sits in the vagina like this with the cervix at the top. There is a little bit of a learning curve on these and the rest of the products I'm going to talk about today, but they actually work really well for a lot of people and are worth a try if you're just looking for a change. Menstrual discs also come in a reusable version that's made of silicone. And I actually couldn't find any when I was at the store and I don't own one already. So I don't have one to show you, but I'll put a picture up on the screen. They basically look 
the same exact way as the reusable one, except it's made completely of silicone. And you use it almost just like a menstrual cup, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. They are a little different than a menstrual cup because they don't create that suction around the cervix. And so they might be better for people who have an IUD than a menstrual cup. If you have an IUD and you're using a menstrual cup, that suction that it creates around the cervix can increase the risk of the IUD coming out or being pulled out by just a little bit. So it is something that you might wanna consider. That risk is about 14%. So if you're using a menstrual cup and an IUD, it's just something to be aware of. It's still most likely not to happen, but it does increase the risk just a little bit. Since we're on the topic of menstrual cups, I'll talk to you about this menstrual cup. There are so many different brands and types and shapes and sizes of menstrual cups. I wanted to show you this one because I like that it's really small and compact and it's called a Lily Cup Compact. It may not be right for everybody. It does come in two sizes, A, for people who've never had a vaginal delivery, B, for people who have delivered a baby vaginally or who just feel like their pelvic floor is a little more weak. The cup is about this big. It's not very big at all. And the amazing thing is that it actually collapses down very tiny. So that's the full size with the cup collapsed down. It fits nicely into this tiny little travel case. So if you're interested in a menstrual cup, I have a few things to tell you about it. One, they are safe and they are effective and a lot of people really love them. There is a little bit of a learning curve. So the first couple of months that you use it, you may wanna use something as a backup, either a pad or period underwear, which we'll talk about in a minute, or something just in case you have leaks. Over time and a few months of using it, you probably will get to a point where you don't have leaks at all. And a lot of people find them very, very convenient at that point. So it's something, that's worth trying if you're interested. Maybe at some point I'll do a whole video just on menstrual cups, how to insert them, things to watch for troubleshooting, things like that. The next option is one that may be really great for you if you really don't like using something like a tampon or menstrual cup or disc that goes inside. And these are reusable pads. A lot of people kind of get weirded out when I talk about things like reusable pads and reusable underwear. However, I think they're really, really great. I think a lot of you probably wouldn't be bothered by it either but I can understand if some people were not comfortable having them. The brand of these is Hannah Healthy You Happy Planet, and they can be purchased on Amazon, but there are so many different kinds and options of these, including even just handmade ones that you get from Etsy. They come in a cute little carrying case, and you use them just like any other pad. The ones I happen to get have cute little cat print on one side, and then the other side just looks like a normal pad, except it's softer and probably a little less likely to cause irritation. So if you're sensitive and get irritated easily with the pads that you buy that are disposable at the store, it might be a good option for you. They have a little button on them so that you can button it around your underwear, just like a winged pad would have, except it's not adhesive. And they actually stay in place pretty well. When you're ready to change your pad, you just rinse it out, throw it in the washer in a mesh bag. Don't ever use any kind of fabric software on any of your reusable products because that will make them less absorptive, but otherwise they're pretty easy to use and it's pretty straightforward. One of the downsides of things like the Hannah pad is that they can feel just a little bit bulkier when you're wearing them and it takes a little bit of getting used to, but some people really like them and I wanted to at least show them to you. The next product I wanna talk about is period panties. So these are underwear, which actually serve to have a completely absorptive liner that acts as a pad. So this one is from Thinks and it's one of the super absorptive ones. You can get these in all different absorption amounts. And I think these super ones are great for like overnight wear. It does absorb the amount of blood as four tampons, which is super cool. And they are really good for preventing leaks. These things work really, really well. Just like with a reusable pad, after you use it, you rinse it off, put it in a mesh bag, put it in the washing machine and wash it on a gentle cycle using detergent, but no fabric softener. Because again, that will reduce how well they absorb when you're wearing them. And finally, as promised, one period product I don't think anyone should ever be using, sea sponges. That's right, these are sometimes marketed as menstrual products. And let me tell you a few reasons I'm not a big fan. One, we don't have any information about how safe these things actually are. There are some sponges that are made as menstrual products that are manufactured and not just actual sponges from the sea. I still am not a big fan of those. If you've ever used a sponge in your kitchen, you know those things harbor bacteria like crazy, especially bacteria like Staph aureus. 
Staph aureus is a bacteria that can live in environments like this sponge, and it can be very difficult in some cases to get rid of. It is also one of the leading causes of toxic shock syndrome, which we know can be in some situations associated with period products. Not only do they have a tendency to be messy, but they can also be really hard to get out, and they have a tendency to fall apart especially when they get saturated. Meaning you may pull out the sponge and it's not all there, and then you have it sitting in the vagina growing more bacteria. Because they are untested, unregulated, and in all likelihood less safe than every other product I've mentioned here or any of the traditional products on the market, I would recommend strongly against the use of a sponge as a menstrual product, whether it is a sponge that you get manufactured or one you pull straight from the ocean. Especially when there are so many wonderful and amazing reusable safe products out there on the market. I hope that you learned something today. If you did, leave a like on this video, send it to a friend, anything to get it out to more people. I know I'm biased, but I think it's great information. If you're new here and you'd like to subscribe, we would love to have you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and I will see you next Monday.